Chapter 1.3. How are standards made? We just learned what is the use of standards. Now it's worth our time learning where do standards come from. How are standards made? In other words, how do companies all over the world find common ground on how to make things in a certain way? A standard is a collective work. Representatives of organizations having an interest and expertise in the subject matter are brought together to form a technical committee. After years and years of technical evaluation, they draw up the standard. Through all this process, the ISO staff facilitates their development and review. So, to put it simply, standards require considerable efforts to be made, because it's not easy to put all the experts in one room, and more so, it's not easy to have them agree on most matters. Finally, after various drafts of the standard, a final draft is made and the standard can be used. Each nation can translate the standard in the local language, if needed. This is made by the National Standardization Associations. For example, Italy's national association is UNI. You can check the ISO website to find out how vast is the range of matters that required all companies worldwide to find common ground. How often does a standard require an update? Periodically, standards are updated to meet the ever-changing needs of companies, to adapt to the changes in technology, the environment, and so on. Some topics could be called hot topics, since the way they are perceived by companies and by the public opinion changed in the recent years. For this reason, it's obvious that the standards related to the environment changed during the last decades, because the way we deal with environmental matters has changed a lot as well. The same could be said for our 45,001, in the last decade, our sensitivity towards occupational health and safety changed so much that until 2018, no ISO standard on this matter even existed. The only standard on that matter was the BSOHSAS 18001, which was made in 2007 and wasn't even an ISO standard. It was a British standard that became international just because there is a huge void to fill. Once a new edition of a standard is made, companies have a few years to adapt. The fact that standards can evolve with time is another point in their favor. Being certified according to a standard allows you to be updated on the matter. So if my company is ISO 45001 certified, every time something relevant changes in the world of OHS, the standard changes, and my company changes accordingly. Now a brief history of standards. Certifications are definitely the sons of our modern times. Let's think for a moment of the international relationships in the 30s and 40s. Nations were kind of hating each other, and autarky seemed the way to go. Each nation had to provide for itself, and commercial exchanges were limited to what was strictly necessary. So the need for a standardized way of doing things was relatively small. Then, the bad days of World War II ended, and the world changed quite fast. International commerce flourished, and there was a high need to find a sort of common ground. Then the bad days of World War II ended, and the world changed quite fast. International commerce flourished, and there was a high need to find a sort of common ground. The most classic example is the paper format. In the booming economy of the 50s, there was no time to lose to talk about the length, the width, the thickness of paper. It was easier to find a common standard and just stick to it. So you could buy paper from France, print on it with a photocopier from Germany, with ink from Belgium, and then put it in an envelope made in Spain. In 1947, ISO was founded. ISO is technically not an acronym. It derives from the Greek term for SAME, which of course recalls the before-mentioned concept of having a common ground between companies, even if they happen to be located in different nations. ISO keeps working for decades, focusing mainly in technical standards. In 1987, the first edition of a fundamental standard is born, the ISO 9001. This standard is the first to have the idea of broadening the topics of standards and suggesting to companies how they could overall manage themselves. This kind of standard is called a management system because it tells us how to manage a company. Years pass and ISO keeps issuing standards. In 2015, ISO issues the latest edition of 9001, Quality Standard, and 14001, Environment Standard. This edition is quite crucial because the layout of the various topics is completely rearranged. This new layout is called high-level structure and will be followed by all the following standards related to management systems. Finally, we get to 2018. The ISO 45001, which is the first standard on OHS, is issued. This is, of course, a simplified timeline of certification. 
What should stick with you is not the single date, but rather the overall principle that standards are a modern concept, but not that modern. As soon as companies felt the need to work with one another, the need for standards was born. In the last 80 years, we have seen any kind of certification. Almost all product certifications are quite technical, like the before-mentioned certification of paper quality. There are also more complex certifications, like the ones that state how to manufacture a medicine. And there are system certifications, which give general rules about the best way to manage some aspects of your company. Among these types of certification, the most notable are ISO 9001. This certification describes how a company could manage its quality system, ISO 14001. This certification describes how a company could manage its environment system, ISO 45001. This certification describes how a company could manage its health and safety system, and ISO 50001. This certification describes how a company could manage its energy consumption. Before proceeding, just a brief note about another certification, the BSOHSAS 18001-2007 certification. Until 2018, it has been the only internationally recognized OHS certification for many years. Now, after a long period of transition, this certification is going to be retired and completely replaced by the 45001 standard. So from now on, we will just talk about this new 45001 certification.